Hey, what's up y'all? It's Cane Pole Willie, and we're back here with another how to make a cane pole video. This is the second step. First video, we went out in the field, we found some bamboo in someone's backyard, cut it down, brought it back here to my house. It's been hanging out in my garage for about a week now. It's drying out just a little bit, but in this video, we're gonna cover how to clean these branches up. It's real simple, you just chop them off and use a Dremel to shave them down. Then we're gonna talk about drying it out. I'm about to roll the intro, and let's get into it. tools of the trade. We got some power tools we're going to be working with so you can get some nice gloves. Safety goggles. We're going to be using this little sander on the Dremel. It's going to be firing real fast. It's going to sound like a dentist office. Need the eyeglasses to protect your eyes. A little specialty item. These are bonsai limb clippers. I'll show a picture of those. I got these off Amazon but the main thing they got you can look right there, it's a curved little cutter. And the more you cut with these, the less you have to Dremel. That's the last item. Well, second to last item, we got to talk about the benches, but this is just a regular Dremel. I've had this thing for years, got out those. And the bit I've got, just a tiny little small sanding bit. The last piece of equipment, this is not necessary, but definitely come in handy is these work benches right here. These are Black & Decker Workmates 125. I got these off Amazon. Super cheap. I got two of them. They're real nice for just holding the pole as you're working on them, cleaning off these branches. So lots of tools. Now we're about to get to work. First step. We're going to get our bonsai cutters out. You could probably get away with just using some regular wire snips. I like these though. Just they got that curved in. You can get in a little bit closer. But the branches don't actually start at the very bottom. These uh, bottom nodes are actually blank, nothing on them, but the branches will start real small, about six or seven nodes up. So with these, I'm actually not trying to cut it flush. All I'm trying to do is just get it close enough to where I don't have to Dremel all the way down. One thing I won't do is just grip the whole thing at the very bottom and try and pull it out because it'll take chunks with it and potentially Get you a weak spot there so what i like to do a little bit back grip it in tight and just pop it off just like that the rest of that we're going to dremel down and i'll just work my way up the pole they start getting bigger and a little bit gnarlier and you'll see on a couple of these they'll be all the way to the top there'll be two so you'll have two to clip off so i'll just work my way down not getting all the way down because it'll rip some out but just Clipping them off, working my way all the way to the top here. And you can do multiple cuts. Just save yourself time when dremeling. Just like that. You can trim off the sides. But really, you don't have to get too close. We're going to come back with a dremel and make all this perfect. But we're basically just saving ourselves some time and doing the grinding. All right, when you get here to the tip, make sure to be real gentle. This is a part of the process from clipping and dremeling where you could easily damage the pole. And one imperfection, and you got to scrap the pole. So it's real important to just take your time, take it easy. You really don't have to get close at this part of the process. There we have it. We just roughed it all out. All right, this next step, we're going to want the bamboo clamped in. We're about to be using the Dremel. It's going to be spinning quick. So what I like to do, I like to clamp it in here in this workbench. Just clamp it in nice and easy. You don't have to be super tight. For the branches, run on opposite sides. So just make sure one's facing the top. And I'll go clamp this other side in, and we'll be able to work on all these branches all the way down. Go ahead and tighten this one up. 
And I really love these workbenches. I, th I think they were 30. I'm not sure how exactly how much, but I think they made a Harbor Freight version that was even cheaper. So these aren't tough to get. It. They're super handy. They fold up and collapse and everything. So basically, you'll see now it's all set up. We're just going to start right here at the bottom, work our way down, just dremeling it flat. If you'll kind of come in here closer, you kind of see where the branch, it basically grows straight up out of here. So there's kind of a little part right here hanging over. And what we're going to do is kind of put the dremel down in there and get rid of that. All this raised up ridge right there, we're going to get rid of that. As soon as we're done with this side, we're going to flip it over and do all the branches on the other side going all the way down. I have my dremel here with my little small sanding bit. I'll usually put in an audio book, headphones, whatever, just relax, just relax out here, take my time, and make sure I'm not uh, clipping the stalk or anything, just smoothing it down so when the line runs across the pole here, nothing's catching. That's a nice, clean pole after this. After we've carefully shaved everything down, got it nice and smooth from end to end, I like to get a wet rag and just wipe it down. These poles have been on the elements for their whole lives, so they're going to be surprisingly dirty. And this is just kind of the last part of the cleanup phase before we let it dry and straighten it. And it takes a while. This is a very long process to take it from a green pole like this. To a very light dry pole. We're going to try and speed the process up with heat treating it and that's part of the straightening process and that's going to be the next video. So we're going to talk about drying it out real quick and then we'll be done with this one. So we got us a nice clean pole. We've dremeled it, sanded it down completely and it looks good. What I like to do is do this all in a batch. As soon as I get these home from the field, I'll clip all the branches off of all the poles and then I'll sand all the branches off of all the poles in a set. Just go ahead and get it out of the way. Because after this, we got the long process, and that is drying and straightening. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to let it dry out just a little bit. And I, personally, I like to dry it, or I like to do the straightening anywhere from this green right here to this kind of faded look right here. It's the in-between phase of the final dry. And this right here, is the heat treated phase and that's where we get a lot of the moisture i hit it with a heat gun and then we use this tool to straighten it out and this is the final look right here so you can see right here this is a faded one fresh green right here it fades to this and then we're going to take the heat gun to it and it's going to look like that after the straightening process and we're going to even dry it even more but the way i like drying it i'll just look for stretches of sun take it out to the driveway, just leave them all there. Make sure and flip them, just so one side's not getting dry and the other side's not. But basically that's it for this video. We covered sanding it, I call it the cleaning up process, just kind of trimming these branches down and then drying them out. And we're gonna slowly just be drying these and straightening them up. And soon we're going to have us some nice cane poles. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Be on the lookout for the next video, the straightening video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.